MNC Tire and Kalispell has been locally owned since 1979. From urban avenues to untamed trails, MNC Tire will help you conquer any terrain, just like the Grizz will conquer the Jackrabbits. Unleash the power within your ride. Stop into MNC Tire at 1271 North Meridian Road in Kalispell or mnctire.com. MNC Tire, wherever you go, we've got you covered. Go Grizz! All righty, welcome back to the Big Sky Now. Today we'll be talking to Fritz Neighbor live from Frisco, Texas, the site of the FCS title game between the Montana Grizzlies and South Dakota State Jackrabbits. Thanks as always, Fritz, for taking the time to do this. I know there's a lot going on in Frisco. Just starting out, just kind of what's the scene like down there, and then we'll kind of dive into the pressers and all that fun stuff, media day. Yeah, no, it was, uh, it's was. it been a busy morning. Uh, Casey Kreider, our photographer, and I went over there fairly early, got our credentials, got our parking pass, and uh, went, rolled right into the first press conference with Jimmy Rogers, a South Dakota State coach. I tried to get Greg Rockhotch to ask a question about old-timey bluegrass artists because there's a Jimmy Rogers that played in the 30s. He didn't. He didn't do it. And I was too checking to do it too. No, it's been it's been a pretty good day. Uh, Rod, Coach Rogers is a pretty intense fellow, as is Bobby Houck. Um, in between, we got to interview some a selection of South Dakota State players. I talked to the Twins, Jaden and Jackson Yankee. Um, and then uh, Kent Haslam and his co-chair on the FCS selection committee gave a short presser. And, you know, we just covered a lot of ground. Um, we talked a little bit or quite a bit about Don Reed, who uh, the legendary Grizz coach who uh, passed away this week, well, four days before the game, so Wednesday. Um, he was 90. Um, I hadn't seen him for quite a while. But what an impact he had on the Grizz. You know, that stadium got built on campus, and Larry Donovan was an impetus for that. He 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 got the ball rolling on that. He just didn't win very many football games. So when they – when he was dismissed, they looked for a coach, and they settled on one with a 69-91 and 91 career record, which isn't very good, but he never had a losing season with the Grizz, and by 88, they were kind of a powerhouse. And then from 93 on, they just didn't lose very many games. So the reason, the reason that stadium has grown from a quaint little 11,000-seat venue into the monstrosity it is now, it holds 27,000-plus, uh, it has a lot to do with what Don Reed was able to establish with the Grizz. So that was that was one highlight. And uh, you know, we talk, I talked to a few of the Grizz players. Um, and that's uh, that's about the extent of it. Uh, we watched picture day. Um, it's kind of interesting. There's a there's a grow light on the field, which is natural grass. Mm -hmm. and boy, it took a ton of rain last night. We flew in in a rainstorm and drove 40 minutes to our hotel and it poured the whole way. A monsoon. So we'll see how the field holds up on Sunday. Yeah, you're like, here, I'm trying to get to warmer weather down here, and all of a sudden now we got this. No, I'm kidding. But always something with the weather. But, yeah, no, as far as the media day, I know you said Coach Halka talked a little, Coach Rogers. That is funny you mentioned the bluegrass artist. Every time I Google Jimmy Rogers, the first thing that comes up is the artist, so that's too funny. But um, did anything jump out to you uh, as far as what the coaches had to say and all that good stuff, I guess, starting with the Grizz and then moving into the Jackrabbits? Well, you know, Bobby didn't didn't uh, talk a lot about specifically about the Jack Rabbits, uh, other than to say that they're very good phases. Um, you know, they got they got pro it looks like on paper that they have uh, an advantage at running back and at quarterback. Receivers are really good. Defense is really good. They have a great punt returner too. So mm -hmm. uh, he t he touched touched on that, and uh, I don't know. I just think he's kind of enjoying the moment. Mm -hmm. um, it's been it's been 14 years since the Grizz have got back here. He left after the 09 title game loss, which was his third and three tries. Mm -hmm. um, I think he came back with the idea that there was some unfinished business, and uh, it's a chance to finish it Sunday. But man, the Jackrabbits are good. It's going to take yeah. a pretty amazing effort. But you know, like I've I've written and said, um, I've had similar. I've seen the Grizz come through in similar situations. I'll wait on the road at GMU and the semis. I don't think anybody gave them a chance. Um, I think they were not the favorite when they won their first title under Don Reed in 95. They had to play against Marshall and Chad Pennington on Marshall's home field and won. Um, there's plenty of examples. And, you know, and there's also, you know, five title game losses and seven tries. So something's got to give. Bobby hasn't won one of these. Uh, 
South Dakota State has never beaten the Grizz. They're 0 and 8, which is just yeah. as good as they've been. Uh, there's two playoff losses in there. Uh, 09 and I want to say 17. And uh, it's kind of mind boggling that we've gotten to this point and the Jackrabbits haven't come out on top. So I'm sure that's, I'm sure they've been reminded of that too. Right. A little, little extra motivation right there, I'm sure. Um, I did want to ask, I know we kind of briefly talked about it before uh, on the other big sky stuff we're doing, but did Coach Houck, I, I think I might have saw it in the media day, I might not, but did he mention it all having the extra break and all that good stuff? Kind of, I know he was looking forward to having more time to prepare for their opponent than usual. Yeah, you know, I, he's brought that up before. Well, in his previous tenure, you know, there was a six, it was a 16 team tournament. So a lot of times they played three games and, you know, had to play twice to get to the championship. And it was back to back to back. And there's no break between the semis and championship. And one year, uh, the, the 09 year, they played. Uh, at, played App State on a Saturday and then had to play the title game the following Friday. Um, they didn't have, to, you know, they were at home that Saturday, but still, you know, they had to play, go across the country and uh, on on short rest. And um, at that time, if he had a complaint, it was that uh, he kind of preferred the bowl setup of, you know, he's coached all over. He coached at UCLA and Colorado and Washington. And you play a regular season and it's meaningful and then you get a bowl game, hopefully if you're good enough and you get three weeks or more to prepare for that. This has more of a bowl setup. It's much, much more um, easy, uh, convenient. I think it's to the benefit of the students, student athletes, as well as the coaches. Uh, kids that might be banged up, get healthy. And it just, you know, it's, it's a nice buildup and, you know, this place is going to be rocking tomorrow. I don't, I don't think there's going to be too many empty seats at uh, Toyota Stadium. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. And you had mentioned that previous turnaround, playing a title or playing a title game of like six days after you play the game is rough. So no, definitely better have the bowl game feel, give these guys some time to prepare. Coach Hauk, veteran coach, he might be able to take advantage of some things. Brett Pease, veteran offensive coordinator. So guys with experience will always find a way, you know, when they have these long buys, stuff like that. As far as Coach Rogers, we talked about him briefly. Did anything jump out as far as what he had to say about the Grizz or game plan, anything like that? Yeah, I didn't give away too much, but he, he was very complimentary of the job that Cliff McDowell's done since they switched in to him, a quarterback. Um, I think uh, I think he sees what the rest of us see, and he's just a uh, game manager is an ugly term. Let's call him a game executive. He just executes, gets things done. He's good on the run. He's hard to sack, hard to keep in the pocket. And uh, um, and he's made from time to time just some dynamite throws, really accurate throws that have changed uh, changed drives for the better. And one of the things I've noticed about the Grizz is they they have their share of negative plays. I if I have a complaint or if anybody has a complaint is that they're not the most disciplined team when it comes to picking up penalties. And um, uh, it, it's happened. I've had, I've seen it time and time again where they they're behind the chains because of somebody. Uh, making an error of emotion or whatever, and then they still pick up the first down. So against good teams, so if they keep that going. Then, um, then yeah, I think they have a they have a puncher's chance on Sunday. Yeah, no, I'm really looking forward to it. McDowell's an interesting one. I've kind of mentioned this before about the Grizz as a whole. You can't look at the stat sheet and see how it turns out on the field. You might not put up the biggest numbers, but it's effective. Gets the job done. He does a lot of things to help other guys get open or great space in the running game with his own legs, the RPO, all those things. Don't know. Well said about McDowell. I guess last thing I wanted to ask, and of course, anything else you want to throw out there, Fritz, but just uh, have you seen, uh, you know, a lot of Grizz and Jack uh, Rabbits fans running around? And you, like you said, you're expecting a good rowdy atmosphere in a couple of days. Yeah, you know, I, I think the charters have loaded up from Missoula today, but there was a there was a ton of blue and gold around this hotel I'm seeing at. It's a media hotel, but it's a big one. And uh, I, I was downstairs trying to figure out some some uh, uh, Wi-Fi issues with my laptop. And uh, there's a couple of Grizz fans and about four SDSU fans sitting, sitting at the high table next to me, just uh, BSing and talking about the 0-9 game, which was South Dakota State's first playoff game ever. And a game they led 48-21 and lost, 61-48. to And uh, yeah, the one guy goes, and then we uh, they have that receiver and the other guy goes, Mary Annie. And <laughs> down it went. So... It'll be fun. I know there's going to be functions tonight all over Frisco. 
big one tomorrow night. They'll have a, a sort of a tailgate slash pep rally tomorrow night for the Grizz fans and South Dakota State fans, I believe. And uh, you know, it's just um it's a cool, it's a cool venue. The stadium looks great. It's uh Dallas is easy to get to, uh, a lot easier than say Chattanooga, which is where the game was up until or through the 09 game. And then it switched venues to here. And it seems like every year they pull out a few more stops and uh, um, all I know, it's been really well organized. We felt welcome. Um, I got the Wi-Fi to work. There we go. <laughs> so, um, it just, uh, you know, driving, getting here through the rain, through the monsoon last night was a little, little bit of a challenge, but uh, you know, it's uh, it's fun to be here. Looking forward to it on Sunday. Yeah, no, great stuff, Rich. I will say that's too funny about the Jackrabbits fans talking about Mariani. They're probably sitting there with Bergen. If the Jackrabbits go up and then Bergen returns a punt return, they're all going to have flashbacks real quick. So it could happen quick. We'll see what happens. But, no, awesome stuff as always, Fritz. Thank, thank you. And that'll do it for this uh, Big Sky Now. Shout out our friends, m and Tire, as always. m and Tire in Kalispell has been locally owned since 1979. From urban avenues to untamed trails, MNC Tire will help you conquer any terrain, just like the Grizz will conquer the Jackrabbits. Unleash the power within your ride. Stop into MNC Tire at 1271 North Meridian Road in Kalispell or mnctire.com. MNC Tire, wherever you go, we've got you covered. Go Grizz!